Which type of homes have increased in prices, seen stabilization, and continue to decrease in all areas of the Tri-Cities is the discussion for today's video. Quickly, before diving into the numbers, however, I will summarize the current disposition of those that are within the real estate market, which is reluctance or inability to transact. Reluctance in the sense that many homeowners do intend to make a move but are stagnant and or are suffering the inability to transact at all. Now, onto the progress of home prices. I'll be doing a comparison of sold prices from November to the start of January and Q4 of 2022, and the sales since the beginning of March at the time of this recording. Let's begin first with Port Coquitlam Detached. At the time of this recording, there have been 10 detached sales this March with an average sale price of almost 1.25 million. This is an indicator of home prices stabilizing with the average sale price in Q4 being 1.3 million, a mere 4% retracement in five months time. Attached homes are telling a completely different story, however. Townhomes since Q4 have increased by almost 20%. The average sales price for townhomes in Port Coquitlam this March is 950,000, while in Q4 it was hovering around 790. Condos are behaving similarly, having increased by 13% since Q4, with the average sale price going from 558 to 630. Now, in Coquitlam, detached homes have separated themselves from Port Coquitlam and have increased by over 10% with the average sales price hovering around 1.853 million in comparison to Q4 at 1.65. Attached homes are indicating a bottom as well with prices stable since Q4 having only decreased roughly about 1% uh, from 1.05 mil to 9.93 today. Condos in Coquitlam have increased by almost 10% with Q4 average being around 660 and today being roughly 725. Finally, Port Moody has had detached homes decrease slightly around 5%, keeping mostly stable. The average sales price went from 2.04 million to 1.928. Townhomes are currently not a great indicator for pricing at the moment in Port Moody. At the time of this recording, there have only been three attached townhome sales, uh, and they're all older, being at least 40 years old, lacking for the most part a third, even second bedroom or bathroom. With that said, the average sale price thus far for March is 666000 where in Q4 it was 978 But again, I wouldn't take these numbers seriously because of the poor data gathered. Condos in Port Moody have increased as well, going from 691 to 719 for a roughly 5% increase since Q4. As you can see going through all the data, home prices in almost all property types have stabilized or increased since the end of 2022, on track for what the Adam Wahid Real Estate Group has been saying for quite some time now, namely that a bottom is to occur this year if you want to argue one already isn't occurring. Loss aversion and the difficulty to obtain lending is what is holding the market back. However, just like 2008, 2016, and 2018 have shown us when we do hit bottom, we will go back up with a vengeance and eventually surpass previous highs.